high seas and catching ocean waves. There are risks. A recent fatal shark attack in New South Wales is a reminder of the dangers. We are aware of it, but we do everything we can to mitigate the harm that could, could arise. That includes staying close together and having radio contact with their crew on shore. The pair plan to paddle between 30 and 50 kilometres per day, but of course that will depend on the weather. Big seas and strong winds are a nightmare for the tippy craft. Ideally the swell and the winds line up and that's when we get the most, um, most speed on the boards. So a K to two out, depending on the safety of, of the sort of surrounding conditions. The paddlers are raising money for the depression and anxiety charity Beyond Blue. You know, it affects people's mums, their sisters, their best friends. Um, you know, one in three people have a, an experience with depression, either themselves or a close friend. They'll leave Brisbane on December 27 and plan to beach at Bondi during Australia Day celebrations on January 26. The weather is the big determinant here. I think it's an achievable task. Yeah. We're going to give it a red hot shot. Tom Forbes, ABC News, Gold Coast. and a tropical low is causing rain and storms across the western top end and WA's Kimberley. A trough is generating rain over southern Queensland and northeastern New South Wales. Another trough is bringing showers and storms to Victoria and Tasmania. Looking around the country now and Queensland can expect scattered showers and thunderstorms across the southeast districts and the central highlands and just the chance of some isolated showers over the central west. It should be hot over the interior. A thick cloud mass blanketing New South Wales is generating areas of rain, mainly over the ranges and the coast. A ridge is developing over the far southwest, bringing clear skies and dry conditions. In Victoria, it'll be fine apart from some early morning fog and drizzle patches in the south and the chance of isolated thundery showers over eastern ranges during the afternoon. Milder and mostly cloudy in the south, but becoming sunny in the afternoon. In Tasmania, there'll be isolated showers about the west and far south during the morning, cool to mild with light winds and afternoon sea breezes. It'll be fine in South Australia with some high cloud extending over western and southern parts of the state. It should be mild near the southern coast and grading to hot in the north. To WA and there will be showers and thunderstorms over the Kimberley with rain and some moderate to heavy falls possible in the northwest. Showers and drizzle is possible near the south coast. The Northern Territory will have isolated showers and storms north of Barrow Creek and scattered showers about the western top end coast. Now taking a look around the forecast for the capital cities, partly cloudy in Brisbane, Sydney and Adelaide, sunny for Perth, a shower or two in Melbourne and Canberra and the chance of a storm in both Hobart and Darwin. Thanks for your company. Inside Edge is...